If you're like a lot of people, you're probably finalizing your plans for New Year's. Here's the real question, though. What are you going to eat? And here with some fresh ideas is Chef Crystal Baldwin from the Giant Eagle Market District. And I know that we're making a twist on, we, we kind of talked yeah. about this, kibasa <laughs> and sauerkraut. That's uh -huh. how some people say it. We <laughs> well, say kibasi. kibasi in my house, but, you know, exactly. tomato, tomato. Exactly. So everybody just thinks, you know, you either get a pork roast and sauerkraut or you get kibasi and sauerkraut, but they never think about the other things that they can do with the sauerkraut. Right. So um, my thing is I wanted to do something beyond, so, beyond, beyond that. Yeah. So I did sauerkraut cakes. I know, these little balls. Oh, oh and the sauerkraut balls. Yeah. yeah. And this is a sauerkraut cake? Sauerkraut cake. Wow. So I have I didn't chocolate. realize that. I thought, it was, I thought it was just a chocolate no, cake no. for dessert. Sauerkraut okay. cake. Awesome. So you actually put it in. So we're going to make, that's an apple sauerkraut cake. We're going to make a chocolate sauerkraut cake. Okay. okay. Let's do it. So I have butter and sugar and eggs beaten in this bowl. I, okay. My mind is blown right now. I don't know how we're going to do this, but I'm, gonna I'm, be in. Really I'm in. It's going to be really good. I promise you it's going to be really, really, really good. All right. So uh, in that, I'm going to go ahead and add in some sauerkraut. Now this sauerkraut is rinsed and uh, I squeezed it really, really hard okay, you so know, to dry. make it nice and dry. Okay. So we're going to add that in there. With sugar. Sugar, and butter, eggs. Uh-huh. Okay. And sauerkraut. So, and okay. sauerkraut. All right. Beet I'm, cake, hey. mayonnaise cake, sauerkraut cake. I promise okay. it's going to be good. I'm, I'm, I'm ready for this. So flour, salt, baking soda. Okay. okay it's going to go in there. Then I have some really dark, this is uh, dark cocoa powder. Okay. okay. And then. And sauerkraut. And sauerkraut. All right. Okay. I promise. I promise. <laughs> you won't be disappointed. <laughs> little vanilla in there. I had somebody walk by and go, what are you making? They're like, I'm not eating that. I'm no. like, you're eating it. You're going to like it. I know. I won't. Yeah, I'm never disappointed when you're here. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear that. Now, this is buttermilk. Okay. okay. So, we're going to take and mix that up. And I want to thank my mom. She gave me her beaters because mine just all of a sudden stopped working. Aww. So, thanks. Well, <laughs> and that's where this conversation, too, about kibasi came from that's because exactly I've always said kibasi and sauerkraut, mm -hmm. right? That's what we do in Pittsburgh. You said your mom says my that. My mom but says kibasi. I said, I say kibasa, but not in the house. I'm not in the house, right? That's it. Kibasi. Okay. So, all mixed up, and it's going to be really nice and thick. Okay. And then we take and put it into two. Bowls. So we're making kind of a layered cake a layer here. Cake. Okay. okay. So separate it out, but I've already made two. Yeah. Right? So yeah, they're so all ready. Just so for... we're just going to take and put that in. But it goes into a 350 degree oven. Let me talk to you. So in your cake, once you put it in there, please smooth it out. So it's nice okay. and even. Don't over mix it. So you saw how much I mixed it. Yeah. I wasn't over there beating it, doing all sorts of things, because that makes a tough cake. Mm -hmm. And then I go ahead and I Tap it a couple of times. Okay, just so and it, it helps to leaven it. You know, yeah. make it nice and level. Okay, so I have two cakes here. Two cakes. Okay. Lovely. So Very what pretty. we're gonna do? I'm gonna move this unless, unless you need that. There. Okay. We're gonna ice it in a moment, but I'm gonna show you the icing. Okay. So I have butter right here. Okay. Lots of butter. Okay. <laughs> just to say, there's a lot going on. It's <laughs> softened. Okay. So then I have some chocolate that. Is not melted, but we're going to take and melt it a little bit, okay, and throw that in. And Let's hopefully just... yours is melted. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, you have to take and I tell you, I have a lot of cheats. So if I, I know, do I love, this, that's, that, we need cheats. That's I'm going to show you something that I would do at home. So okay. microwave is really, really fast. Right. But sometimes if I have a little lump here, so I take that little extra uh, heat that's on the stove. It's not going to melt my butter all the way, mm -hmm. but it's going to help to loosen my my uh, chocolate, chocolate a little bit. So I'll put that on there, and you'll see it'll start to melt it. Yeah. And then I don't want to do this here with you because we'll both be covered in powdered sugar to do I it know. fast enough. Yeah. Um, you want a nice big bowl. Don't get out the little itty-bitty bowl. Yeah. And you want to leave it on low, okay? And then you'll start to take and put your powdered sugar in. Yep. yep. I know. There I know go. how this works. <laughs> so, Been there before. But I want to just let folks know, you do and see. Add you see how my chocolate's sugar? melting now? Yeah. So nice. the chocolate is melting now, but my sugar is in, and it'll help to get it all together, okay? So once you do that, you're going to end up with this. This okay? lovely... Chocolatey right goodness. Mm -hmm. 
icing really is easy to make. It is. And, you know, it's easy to buy it. A lot of folks don't think it. about, the, people don't think right. about making cakes. They don't think about making icing, but it is really It is really simple. easy to make. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make this together. Okay, our sauerkraut chocolate cake. Sauerkraut chocolate cake. So you have a little bit of ice in there. Uh -huh. I'm going to take and lift this up, and you're going to take and put a little bit of dollop of this icing over here. That okay. icing there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, do you just use the back end of this? How do you? I this use, is cool, I use right? a spatula, and you know what? I actually do. I would put a big dollop on. Oh, much so bigger. Really big okay. dollop. Mm -hmm. Teach me how to ice a cake. Okay, and then you go ahead and. I just take and sort of wiggle my spatula back and forth. Mm -hmm. And if you have a flat spatula, it works really nicely. Yeah. So that's it. And then I just start to sm smooth it out. But this is the middle of the cake, so you don't have to worry about that as much. Okay. I'm going to take and throw my other layer on. Then I have, because this is German chocolate sauerkraut cake, okay, I have some coconut. Coconut. And I have some pecans. Great. Okay, go ahead and stir that in. Okay. And then we're going to ice this on top of that, so right? So that will ice on top of that, and then the rest of this goes really on the very top here. Okay. So Great. you have this really nice chocolate frosting on the top here, and then all along the sides this. is going to be that frosting. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not very good. We only have a minute left, oh. so I really want to get to our sauerkraut, sauerkraut balls, balls most as definitely. I'm icing this. Maybe you can kind of so, quickly run through it, the recipe for simple. us. It's simple. So I took mm -hmm. potatoes in okay. their skins, okay. okay? You take and boil them. And then once you do that, you take them out, let them cool a little bit, and then... <laughs> Sorry, and then this is a mess That's over right. here. I'll show you a couple tips okay. later. <laughs> so you take and boil them in skins, peel them, mash them up. Simple. I have our Market District Slovenian kielbasa, okay? okay. I have sauerkraut that's uh, been drained. That's it, not rinsed. Grie your cheese. Love that cheese. Good it is good cheese. And some breadcrumb. Okay. okay. And one egg. One egg. All right. This is all so going to be mixed together. Mix that all together. Really simple. It can be made ahead. So then I have these sauerkraut balls here. Mm -hmm. So then all I did, and you can put caraway in them. I put oh, okay. caraway in some and then I didn't put some in the others. And then I have a nice hot pan with grease and you see that I already started to fry. Mm -hmm. And then you just take them in and they will fry up. Okay? Nice. So then we'll just close it up so that way it doesn't sp sputter everywhere. These are a, a mm -hmm. nice new take and so you just served it with like a grainy mustard. With a, that's a German grainy mustard. Great. Most definitely. So, but I really like our Slovenian kielbasa and if you're looking for another one, we have Mission Market kielbasa which I brought for you guys to try awesome. as well. Awesome. Okay, mm -hmm. well I, I definitely have to try the, the cake and I, and I am going to do that. I can't, I can't not try this sauerkraut cake. We'll get the part with the nice, good icing on okay, the side. Okay, good. Yeah, the pretty side. Okay. okay. All right. Let me be the judge of this here. It's not going to taste like sauerkraut. It doesn't taste like sauerkraut. But it's moist. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that what it does? It makes it moist. It gives it a little bit of tang to it as mm -hmm. well, but it makes it moist. It makes it really, really yummy. Really delicious. Blow me away all the time, every time you're here. <laughs> all right, we want to thank Market District for sponsoring the Cooking Corner here on PTL. And for a copy of today's recipes, you can visit kdka.com slash PTL. They're helping local.